finally managed to anger Master Greville. I thought I would end up battling you one day. But this isn't how I had hoped to face you. If we battle, it will only be unfulfilling and without meeting. Will you challenge me knowing that? You know what? After everything I've gone through to get up here, you bet I'm going to challenge you. I'm not going to let you do anything with that XD001 that you want to. Fine, I understand. But once we battle, expect no mercy. That is my philosophy. After several faithful encounters, the younger and more talented of Grievel's bodyguards, Eldest, challenges us to a Pokemon battle. Been looking forward to fighting this guy ever since Mount Battle? Let's do this! He starts off with Ninjas, level 45, bug flying type, speed boost for its ability. Silver Wind Protect Dig and Aerial Ace, kind of an unusual Ninjas if you ask me. In addition to that, he has a Shadow Manectric, level 44, electric type, static or lightning rod for its ability, with the move Shadow End and next up is Salamence. And it's a Shadow Pokemon. Level 50, Dragon Flying type, Intimidate for its ability. Shadow Hold and Shadow Rush. I have already gone over how awesome Salamence is, but I will do it once it moves. And Shadow Moves can be physical or special. I've kind of alluded to this before, but saying it out right here, it can be physical or special. That Shadow Hold as well, ugh, that is going to be tough. Luckily I do have an Ice type on the field, so if things get dicey, I won't have to worry about that. I can just use that. And speaking of that, this guy, as you might guess, he's already sent out two Shadow Pokemon, and we're just getting started. If you're having a hard time, there is no shame in KOing a Shadow Pokemon if you just want to get it off the field and deal with it later. Mir B will catch any Shadow Pokemon that you fail to snag, so should you want to deal with it later, feel free. In fact, I am considering using Ice Beam on that Salamence if things get a little bit too tough, just because that Shadow Rush is going to hurt coming from 135 attack, just saying. Uh, okay, what do I want to do here? Um, no, I'm going to go for Water Pulse on it just to do it, well, no. I'm going to use... Shoot, what am I going to do here? I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to go for the Ultra Ball on my Nectric, just because I feel like that would be the best thing to do, and... Let's go for a Psychic on that Salamence. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can snag that Manetric. It's already low on health. I didn't get it paralyzed, though, but hey, no big deal there. Okay. Two. Three. Good. Okay. I feel like I'm making some good progress. I also started off with Mustache and, uh... I also starting off with a mustache and uh, Jinzo helped me with the way of uh, Salamence's ability of Intimidate though, so I can still do quite a bit of damage even without it. Oh, Shadow Rush! Oh, ow! Oh, that is painful. Okay. Shoot, that complicates matters a bit. His next Pokemon. Uh, I've been a little bit distracted by how much damage he did. Flygon, level 45, Ground Dragon type, Levitate for its ability, so Ground type moves will not harm it either. Dragon Breath, Double Edge, Flamethrower, and Crunch. Unfortunately, it looks like Mustache goes down right as soon as I finish going over that. So yeah, he has two pretty dang powerful Dragon types on his team. Flygon might not be the best of the best, like Salamence can be, but man, uh, just the fact that he has those two on his team. And unfortunately, my Ice type attacker is gone, so that is definitely, definitely not good. Okay, how do I want to go about this? I think I'm going to send out Trifecta just because I think I'll be faster than everything else on the field. At least I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. I know, Trifecta has not really had the best run here. It has had some pretty darn bad luck. And by the way, I didn't tell you guys this. I have Sky Attack. So if things get too dicey, I have this as a bit of an ace up my sleeve. I think I'm going to go ahead and target that Flygon with it, just in case I'm not able to take it down soon. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do that. I know that Flygon's probably going to go down for the Psychic, though, but... Again! Trifecta doesn't get to do anything! Nope! Never gets to do anything. Thing is, I don't concede that Dodrio is a bad Pokemon. I like Dodrio, and I wish it got more love, but... Good God, I cannot catch a break with that thing. It's nuts. Like, I really, really can't. Like, I feel like Gadzooks has had an okay run, and the other four members of my team have had excellent runs. Like, I don't think you can deny Voltaire, Mustache, Billy Bob, or Jinzo all being incredibly valuable to my team. But... I have just had terrible luck with Trifecta. I didn't get to even charge up for Sky Attack. Nothing. I know that it's got low defense, and that's a risky move doing that. But seriously, I can't get anything off. Like, I know that Salamence is powerful and all that. And I know that Flygon is too, but I was just hopeful that I'd get to use it in a useful situation or that I'd get to do something like that. The only battle it had where it didn't have a hard time was flat out that one time when, you know, when it 
had really, really, stu uh, really, really stupid Cypher Peon fighting against it. That's been the only time it's been useful. And it's kind of a shame, because I really, really like... I really, really like it. I can't say that I dislike Dodrio as a Pokemon. It's just that it's had really, really rotten luck, and I need to get rid of that Salamence, like, pronto, man. That thing is wrecking my team. I think Billy Bob's gonna be best. I want to save Voltaire for last to clean up, just because it's high damage, and I can also paralyze if I really need to snag something. So let's do that. All right, double edge. Please target Billy Bob. Jinzo, okay. Both of them are pretty dang defensive, though, so I feel like these two can stall for a little bit. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to start stalling so soon. That's why I went for more offensive Pokemon early, because I was hoping that I could get off some damage and just weaken these guys. Man, that Salamence being level 50. I'm doing, like, nothing to it. It's getting really annoying. Okay. Um, let me think here. Uh, okay. It's got Flamethrower, that Flygon does. I sound like Yoda. So I'm gonna predict that he's gonna try using that on Billy Bob to do normal damage and take advantage of my low special attack or special defense. So I'm gonna go for the protect, and let's finish off that Flygon and just get it off the field now because I can't deal with these two dragons constantly attacking me. All right, Shadow Rush. Oh, okay. I can deal with that doing zero damage. Yeah. Oh, I read his moves perfectly. Okay. Go for the second. Take out Flygon. Good. The worst part is. That is just half of his team down. He's got three left. Marowak, level 44, ground type. Rockhead or Lightning Rod for its ability. And indeed it is a Shadow Pokemon as it can have either ability. Shadow End and Sh All right, uh, let's see. I don't wanna go about this. Okay, I think this is the best I can do. Shadow Rush doesn't do that much damage to Billy Bob. Thanks to God for my huge defense. Okay. And I get to go before Marowak does. Let's do this. It's probably gonna not do too much, okay. I know I just said it's not the best special defense-wise though, but remember that Jinzo is not really the best offensively. Double Edge! All right, Salamence is definitely in snagging territory now. I think I'm gonna start, oh God! Mm! I can just watch in awe. Dude. That's what I'm up against, man. At least he got hit with Recoil. Okay, so they are both snaggable at this point. Needless to say, I want Salamence off the field ASAP. So I'm going with a Hyper Potion right here, just because I cannot take another one of those attacks on Billy Bob. Let's try the Timer Ball. This has definitely been more than 10 turns, so I'll at least get to take a little bit of an advantage of it. Plus, I just have more of them, so I feel like I should kind of use a few of them before I try the Ultra Ball, just because I kind of have a few of those. Ultra Balls are more or less just restalling in case I want to make the battle go on longer so that I can have the Timer Balls be more effective. One, two, three. Thank goodness. Ah, oh, thank Lord Arceus from above that I caught that. All right, what's next? Lapras is last Pokemon. And it's a Shadow Pokemon. Level 44, Water Ice type, Water Absorb, or Shell Armor for its ability. Shadow Shed, Shadow Sky, and Shadow Storm. What I'm thinking here is, that Lapras is a big threat to Billy Bob. I should probably attack that ASAP. Also, that Marowak could probably KO itself from the recoil, so you bet I'm using a Timer Ball on that immediately. Now, that being said, I might not be able to snag every last Shadow Pokemon that is remaining here at Citadark. I will try my best to snag them, but like I said, if things get dicey, there is no shame in just KOing them and trying to catch them another time when fighting Mir B. Of course, when I say that, I catch Marowak absolutely no problem at all, so there we go. All he's got left is that Lapras. I was a little worried he was going to do Shadow Storm on Billy Bob there, just because he is a bit of a threat when it comes to that. Alright, let's see how big your- whoa! I was about to say, let's just see how much HP you have, but I think you proved that quite nicely. You have a lot of damn HP, dude. I'm sorry for challenging you on that, man. Carry on. Have plenty of HP. Or don't. If Billy Bob has anything to say about it, you won't. Let's use Thunder Wave to hold it down. Volterra always goes first. Awesome. Ah, oh, Volterra, you have always been such a good buddy of mine. Just, he has been such a great companion. I, I really do have to give credit to my Pokemon here. While Trifecta might not have had the best runs, and while I think Zangoose is kind of only, or Gadzooks has kind of only had an alright run, that Jolteon, man. Just everything he has done for me. Just how... Whoa, he hung on there. Damn, even from a critical hit. Just everything he's done, just... He has paralyzed so many Shadow Pokemon for me, assured so many captures, come in at just the right moment so many times. I can't thank him enough. This Jolteon man, he has been an excellent companion throughout the entire journey. Billy Bob, you haven't been too shabby either. You have withstood many, many attacks. Okay. 
Let's do this. I'm going for the timer ball? I... Hmm. No. I'm going to protect it by myself a turn, and Voltaire, I'm going to throw the timer ball into your turn just in case it doesn't work. Not that I don't think it will, but let's do it. One, two, three. That does it. Cut every Pokemon on the first ball. Down to my last two Pokemon. That was close. We lost. Totally. You are powerful, much more than I had imagined. If you aim to stop our plan, then you should keep going. However, the Grandmaster's power is probably far greater than you can imagine. I doubt you will beat the man. Oh, of course I get interrupted because Magmar being available in the Purify Chamber is what is important here. Okay. He opens up the way for us. If you need to use your PC, you need to heal up, you need to do anything at all, do it right now. It's right open It's open right here for you. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Also, you might have noticed there were some item boxes in the distance. We want to collect all those. Okay. This might very well be the last item box that we collect even. Let's see what it is. Max Revive! You do not disappoint in your generosity. Oh, oh. Some battles going on on screen. What's going on here? A camera up fighting a Zatu. It's a Cypher Peon together with a slightly bigger Cypher Peon. Okay, I don't know why he was watching that on TV, but okay. If you might notice, the Zatu and the camera up are using shadow moves, and we have yet to go and... Correct me if I'm wrong, but we have yet to come up against those as shadow Pokemon. Interesting. Just saying, it's a little bit weird. 